In most dimensional analysis problems, we have a simple unit to start with, and then our compound units or relationships help us get from one unit to another. However, there are some problems where we convert from one set of compound units to another. Let's look at an example. A car is going 55 miles per hour. What is the speed in feet per minute? The only number that's given in the problem is the 55 miles per hour. Since that's the only number we have, we know that's where we're going to start. And we're going to finish with feet per minute. There are no simple units, so we're going to start with the only value we have that's got a number associated with it. So we're going to start with 55 miles per hour. One thing that's important is when you're writing a fractional unit such as this, it's important to write it as miles over hours. While we type it side by side with the slash in between, when we're writing out problems it's much better to write it clearly as a top and a bottom over a straight fraction line. As a result, it's going to be much easier to see what units are canceling out. We're going to focus on one unit at a time. It doesn't matter whether we start with the numerator or denominator, but we're just going to pick one and start with that. So in my example, I'm going to start with looking at miles. And my goal is to convert miles to feet. The hours is still there in the denominator, but I'm not going to worry about that for right now. I'm just going to look at the miles initially. So I see that miles is in the numerator. So I need miles in the denominator. And I know that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So now I can cancel out units of miles. If I were to stop right now, I would have units of feet per hour. So I see that I've gotten closer to what I want of feet per minute because I have my numerator in the correct units, but my denominator is not, which means I need to keep going in the setup of my problem. So now, I'm going to put hour on top because hour was in the denominator in the initial value, but I need to cancel it out and in order to cancel something in the denominator, the unit needs to be in the numerator. And I know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Now my units of hours cancel out because one is in the numerator and one is in the denominator. And I see that the units left are feet per minute. Now I can use my calculator to solve for my answer and I get 4.8 times 10 to the third feet per minute. Here I have two significant figures. Both of these are exact numbers so they do not contribute to the number of significant figures in my answer so I only need two sig figs in my final answer.